Hi Flosstube, it's Jessica, Silver State Stitcher, I'm coming to you from a new location. Again, so much has changed since the last time I've been on. It's been about three months. Um, I have many, many life updates, so we'll try and get through those real quick. And then really a couple little uh, stitch updates in terms of like things that I've worked on since the last time I've seen you guys. Um, but also uh, wanted to go over what my uh, plans are for Stitch Mania. Things are just ramping up around here, so very busy, and I don't know when I can do this again. But I'm gonna try and do better and maybe do it just once a month, because um, I think that's an attainable goal for me. Anyway, um, okay, so starting out, last time I talked to you guys, we had just gotten married and had Thanksgiving. Um, right now, it is, it is, March 10th, sorry, I forgot what day of the week it was. Uh, March 10th, and um, since then, we obviously celebrated Christmas, which was lovely. It was at our um, house with my, my mom and my brother, just like at Thanksgiving. Um, and then directly after Christmas, we found out that we got the house that we wanted. And so this is my new house. It's a whole mess behind you, so I won't be showing you that for quite some time. Um, but part of what I love about my new house is that I get, it's technically like a laundry room, but it's massive. So it's also my quilt room and cross-stitch room, craft room. It's basically my little she cave area. Um, all this stuff behind me is cabinetry, um, and it goes the whole length of the wall. And so that means I get plenty of room for fabric and, uh, crafting supplies and whatnot. So I did have to use like the center section behind me for linens because there's not really a linen, dedicated linen closet in our house, but I'm willing to concede one closet to share with the rest of the house and get all of the rest of the closets for me. Um, okay, uh, so yeah, so bought a house, big deal. Then of course, I don't know if anybody else out there is like this, but I hate to move. Uh, packing makes me break out in hives, unpacking, stresses me out. I don't know why. <laughs> I just like to be in one place and never move again. So I told husband, listen, we'll move, but I want to stay there for at least 10 years. <laughs> he said, okay. <laughs> so hopefully we'll be here for longer than that. But um, I love our new house. It's fantastic. It's everything I ever wanted. And then some, and it's nice because it lets, um, it has all the space we need. It just has, you know, like little cosmetic stuff that has to be updated or done up. I mean, it was really well taken care of um, and it was owned by uh, a couple who clearly took great pride in upkeeping the house, um, but they hadn't been here in a couple years. And so, you know, just stuff needed to be updated. What, what have we done so far? I'm trying to think. Um, obviously, before we moved in, we had to get the carpets clean and all that kind of stuff. Um, we're calling husband handy husband now because he has taken to redoing all of the light switches, you know, from those older toggly ones to like the paddle ones that you press, because I feel like they're easier to keep clean. Um, anyway, um, and then, <clears throat> excuse me, in the bathrooms, both of the bathrooms, he has changed out all the fixtures to be from brass, which is what it was when we moved in, to um, oil rub bronze, so it's like a dark, brown black finish which I think looks really good um I don't know yeah he's done a lot of little handy jobs around the house and the good news is we bought the house furnished and the bad news is we bought the house furnished meaning that we had to go through and like determine what we wanted to keep and what we didn't want to keep so there's been many trips to Goodwill many trips to the dump mm, we're still we still have like a little pile of stuff that we have to take I think to the dump um, big Brothers Big Sisters came by, or no, Salvation Army came by and picked up about half a garage full of furniture and housewares and stuff like that. I mean, there was a lot of stuff in the house. Um, and of course we already had a house full of stuff, so it was really just picking out stuff that we wanted to keep that we weren't probably going to go out and purchase ourselves. Um, for example, we inherited slash bought a, um, like a grandfather clock, sorry, I couldn't think of the name of it, which is kind of cool. I mean... I don't know that we would have bought one on our own, but it's very neat, keeps time, it works perfectly fine, it's pretty awesome. Anyway, so there's that. Um, I 
think that's all the house updates. Then, next big life update, which is also why I haven't been able to get on here, because we've been very busy, obviously with moving and stuff, but we are also expecting a little human in the next, uh, well, six months. Uh, now, so due in September, the beginning of September, um, and as many of you with children may know, apparently the first trimester is really, really difficult, <laughs> or at least it has been for me. Um, if I'm not so tired, I could just fall asleep standing up. I'm generally puking my brains out, which, sorry to offend anybody, but there's just a lot of puke in my life right now. <laughs> so we're on to week 14 this week, and everything I read says it's supposed to be getting better about now. Mm, I think maybe the baby has different ideas, but we'll see. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> um, so yeah, there's not really much to look at in terms of a baby bump just yet, so we'll wait on that. But yeah, uh, so far, luckily, um, it hasn't prevented me from being able to stitch if I want to stitch like that doesn't make me sick so I guess I get to keep doing that I remember watching when Pr Pr or sorry not when Priscilla when Chelsea was pregnant how she said she couldn't really stitch for very long without kind of feeling sick or car sick I guess and I do get car sick pretty easily so I was kind of worried that that was going to be something that I have to deal with so far so good um I haven't done as much stitching but mostly just because we had to pack everything and then move everything and been busy unpacking. So I think this is like the first weekend that we've actually mm, done minimal unpacking because most everything is out. Right now the stuff that's not out is stuff that you just have to figure out how to store that you don't use like every day. Um, so still working on that. Um, I got a new car. <laughs> we bought the house on a Monday and on Tuesday we bought a new car for me. Um, I don't know if I ever told you guys this, but we were like a one car family because my husband's job was so close to our other house and there was just no point with him traveling for work all the time for us to have two cars, two car payments or two, you know, insurance payments on a car when really one of the cars wasn't going to be moving all that much. But we had now moved much further away from both of our jobs. So it kind of made, made it logistically necessary to have um, two vehicles so I got a snazzy new um, mom car <laughs> it's a Subaru Outback I love it I think it's super cute and um, we in Nevada don't usually get a lot of weather so it's kind of oh it's all-wheel drive but like when are you ever gonna use that in Las Vegas <laughs> but over the last like three weeks we've had tons of unseasonable rain and snow for two days which didn't really stick so it wasn't really that big of a deal but you know like they're all worried about black ice and stuff so it was kind of nice to have that um as an option to use the all-wheel drive in my new Subaru so it was not an ad for Subaru I just really like my car um let's see I chopped all my hair off recently sorry my hair is a mess today it's just because we've been running errands we still have um ownership of the house that we rented in Vegas um, until the end of this month and so we kind of gave ourselves some time uh, to get it cleaned and have to do the carpet the last two couple things are like little things like getting the carpets cleaned and we had a house cleaner come in this weekend and do the whole house uh, it's like a lot of the smells and stuff from cleaning products make me sick anyway right now and you're not really supposed to be inhaling all that stuff I'm pretty sure um, so yeah it's been a wild and crazy couple of months um, you know normal people don't do like everything all the major life events in the span of like less than 12 months um, but you know <laughs> when you're when you know you know and then you just kind of do everything all at once and it just kind of keeps working out like we kind of had originally been looking for a house when I last talked to you guys and we kind of just took the pressure off and we're like you know what if we don't find a house it's no big deal we'll just extend the lease and we'll wait till the right house comes available um the area that we ended up moving to is there's very little like existing inventory um in the town that we live in now so when a really nice uh, like a good house comes on the market it usually goes really really quickly and so that's exactly what happened with our house that we ended up getting. We knew through a friend, 
who was a real estate agent, um, that it was going to be going on the market. Um, and then we saw it the day it went on the market and then um, put our offer in three days later. And by the time we put our offer in, there were like three or four other offers. Some of them were cash. So we were like pretty much sure we were not going to be getting the house. And then I don't know what happened. I don't know if our real estate agent, who's a family friend, decided to, um, I don't know, if, I have no idea. I don't. I have no idea how we ended up with the house, so I'm not even going to venture a guess. I don't know if she just happened, because she kn knew the sellers, um, if she put in a good word because we're a young, growing family, and, you know, it was it's perfect. It's our dream home kind of thing, so anyway. All right. Also, I get a little out of breath because I get a little excited about things right now. All right, let me go on to a couple things. Well, the one thing that I finished since um, I last saw you guys, and then I couldn't find, well, I bet it's in the living room, but I'm not gonna go get it right now. I'll have to show it to you later. I'm like 99.9% .9 done with a little Lizzie Kate, um, don't get your tinsel in a tangle one, um, but <clears throat> I'm just not in the mood to stitch Christmas right now. So it's kind of like, I put in like, one thing of, you know, one row of stitches and I'm just like, eh, I don't really do, want to do this anymore. So it may go away, away to um, hibernation state <laughs> until I get back in the mood for Christmas again. All right, so this was a Stitch Rovia pattern that I picked out um, to make for my mom. Uh, I just thought it was really a sweet little um, sentiment and it says, Though she be but little, I know it's hard to see on the, on the white paper. Though she be but little, she is fierce. Um, it's by William Shakespeare. Well, I mean, the pattern's by Stitch Rovia, but the quote's William Shakespeare. Um, and I liked the pattern uh, itself. I just needed to change the colors because it's going to go in her... Um, she, she bought a vintage camper that she had, like, redone. It's super cute. It's, like, um, really retro. And Anyway, so I had to change up the colors from these colors to these colors. So like reds and teals, a little bit of pink in there, but the red and teal is like her style and then also gray. So I dyed this gray with writ dye and then I used um, coffee tea to get kind of a little bit dirty, I don't know, like a less bright gray look to it. And there's more like Back stitching, I think, I think the only area I've actually done any back stitching on is like this top section. And I keep going back and forth. I'm not good at back stitching. And I don't, it's kind of stressful. I don't know why. So anyway, um, I'm like, oh, I, I did it here obviously to get the words in there. Um, but I'm not sure if I'm going to do any more of the other back stitching. So somebody let me know. Do you think I should keep doing the back stitching? Can you tell it's missing? <laughs> Or can I just uh, call it good and start finishing it? Uh, it was supposed to be her Christmas present. It didn't get done. <laughs> um, so anyway, she knows it's coming. All right. Uh, let's see. The other thing I did, I did some more coffee tea dye. I mean, like, just the usual kind of Chelsea and Priscilla, a little bit grungy looking. I did more. Obviously, there's more of that gray, which I'm saving for, I don't know, some other project. I'll figure it out. And then I also did, and this is where I may have overdone it. You ever leave something in the oven too long? <laughs> uh, anyway, I did like this tealy, I think it was teal. And then I dunked it twice in coffee tea dye. But this is the, <laughs> the side that was up. I got a little carried away. It's a bit much, but I like the back side. It's not too bad. There's like one little spot that's kind of, I don't know, maybe burnt, but I can work around it. And the rest of it turned out really cute, so... We'll probably use that. I kind of want to use it for like a winter thing. Or I don't know. I haven't really decided yet. All right. So there's that. Um, this last like Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, Joanne's had like a super sale on DMC floss. It was like uh, regularly 56, marked down to 40 cents. Plus, you could do the 25% off coupon. So I got motivated and decided to do. Um, stitch mania this year as a goal so I can get back into my stitching because I've been out of it for about three months now um, and then also 
they had like storage containers for sale. I mean, like obviously they're for sale there, but um, on sale as well. So there are these art bin little things. So I upgraded from little, I had like little tiny versions of this that were not very sturdy. These ones have really nice little snaps on them. Uh, I just finished bobbinating a bunch of the um, DMC that I bought. I literally bought like 30 or 40 different colors. I just decided if like you're gonna do it, you might as well do it all the way. And for such a good deal, it was totally worth it. So anyway, and I love organizing that sort of stuff. Anyway, these were originally like 25 bucks, 24.99. Um, and then with the 50% off plus the 25% um, coupon that you could use on anything on sale or otherwise at Joann's, they came out to be um, $10 a piece. So I thought that was totally reasonable. So I have two of those and that's going to probably be enough for me in terms of um, uh, thread keep stuff. Sorry. All right. So... Um, I've, like I said, I've decided to do Stitch Mania. Um, my husband is so cute. <laughs> we, um, he's like, what's Stitch Mania? <laughs> I was like, well, let me tell you. <laughs> so I kind of explained it to him. Uh, he, I'm sorry the table's shaking because I'm touching the table. I'm going to see if I can figure out a way to make that not happen. I apologize. Um, <laughs> he got it all explained. He just looks at me and he goes, okay, <laughs> all right. But he's very supportive and helpful. So today when I was like, uh, we were in town for the um, house cleaner thing, I was like, hey, can we go to the container store? There's only one in our town. And it's way on the other side of the world now from us. So I was like, let's go to the container store because I need to get some project bags because I'd like to have i like to have it all organized. Um, the only thing about Stitch Mania that's a little bit stressing me out right now is because when I started stitching again, last January, during January 2018, I started on Monaco because that's what I saw Chelsea and Priscilla doing and it seemed like a good idea and I really, really like it. And now you can't really find it anywhere. <laughs> so that's kind of a problem because I have to get a bunch of fabric together for this stitching project. <laughs> and I currently have searched at several Michaels and a couple of Hobby Lobbies and how have, or Joann's, and have literally one of these and one of these because they were the only ones left. And we can't get them online. And maybe you guys could tell me where you're getting all your Monaco or where to look. Um, because when I was doing like a quick search online, I couldn't find any. <laughs> um, so that's a little bit disheartening. And also, I mean, I could, I was just at my local um, needlepoint shop or I'm sorry, uh, cross stitch shop called Stitcher's Paradise here in Las Vegas. Um, on Friday, I got out of work early and my husband still had to work for a little bit longer and it's like near the where I was for my work. So I decided I'm going to go check it out. And um, so I got there with no intention of really buying anything, but of course you go into the stitch store and you find things. Um, but I found, I think about four, five patterns, about five patterns. Um, three new market releases, which they were so sweet. This is what's so nice is like, I never go to the, into the store because I never am at that end of town, but I got a chance to go in and they had just finished, I guess, pricing all of their market stuff. It was like in the back room where customers don't really go. And the girls who were there were so sweet. They're like, Hey, do you want to see the market stuff? And I was like, yeah. They're like, if you like any, if you want to take anything, or if you want to buy anything, We'll sell it to you today. It's not going out like into the shop until tomorrow. And I was like, uh, yeah. <laughs> so anyway, I got a couple things from there for my stitch, or yeah, stitch mania. All right, let's see. So I'm gonna pull out the chunk and put it on my lap. That way it maybe will be less movement for you guys. Um, all right, so we'll just, I'm just gonna show you real quick, or not real quick. I'm gonna try and go as quick as possible uh, so you can see all of the different uh, patterns that I plan on working on. So I'm going to do another one of these. I've done, summer is done and finished, autumn is done but not finished. I think I'm going to do winter next because I know I, I will get that finished. Uh, they're pretty quick, I just haven't gotten to do them in a while. Let's see. We've got...
uh, was we Kate the Thanksgiving string, the thankful string, sorry. And let's see. I've got Little House Needleworks, Old Glory. Um, I have, like, I think I have the rest of this series, but um, Welcome to the Forest. This is called Forest Raccoon and Friends by Country Cottage Needleworks, so I'm going to do that one. I'm thinking about finishing this series and using that in the baby's room, which is something we have to work on. Um, I have done summer, so I have spring left to do for Lizzie Kate. I did Boo, the ver Boo version of this. This is Hop for Easter. I think instead of that flower in the middle, I'm just going to leave it blank because I just don't like, I don't have the button and I don't really love that little flower in the middle. So we'll just do the bunnies instead. Uh, let's see. Lizzie Kate Summer Basket. Lizzie Kate Spooky String. I'm just showing you all the little ones first and then I can grab the bigger ones after. Uh, we've got Lizzie Kate Autumn. Sorry, I'm trying not to fumble so much. Lizzie Kate Snowy String. And this is a Lizzie Kate Flip It for Halloween. I just thought that was so stinking cute. And then Heart and Hand, Bird in the Hand, Autumn. This is the only one I have of this. I gotta get more of these. I think it's really cute. I'm sure it'll be super quick to stitch. So there's that. And then, dun, dun, dun. again, sorry about the wiggling. I gotta figure out a better way to pop up the iPad next time. This is new and I'm so excited to do it. Plum Street Samplery, Sampler, sorry, <laughs> Spring Salt Boxes. And this is another new one. Plum Street Sampler, Sampler's Box Few. Sorry about the glare, guys. Where Liberty Dwells by Brenda Gervais, and I'm just gonna do this one. I think that's what I'm gonna focus on. I just think it's so pretty. I don't know if it, I, I have mentioned this, the eye quilt, and so I just love that this look resembles the quilt block with ticking. I just think that's so cute. So I'll eventually do that one up, up above, but I'm gonna start with this one for the Stitch Mania. I got this um, on my little trip, obviously not new, but I just think it's super cute. I love this little spring. I actually love all three of them, but I think I'm going to do the spring one first. I got this one. My mom is obsessed with sheep, and I just really like that series by Plum Street Samplers. Um, and this is Sheep Heap. I love the colors in this, and she, she loves this pattern. So she might do it too if she gets around to it. She's been in a quilting mode lately, so she hasn't been doing very much cross-stitching. She has an entire sheep series. I can't remember who it's by. Um, but she's like three months in <laughs> out of 12 and she hasn't been able to get past that point. <clears throat> Plum Street Samplers, this is True Friendship. Uh, Pat's Sampler. I just love the colors in it. And again, look at those totally cool looking little quilt motif and little dogs. Might just change it to be one little dog and make it look like our little Sebastian. Because somewhere out in the yard, I can hear him getting into trouble. This is by Barbie, Barbie from Petal Pusher. Um, and I have all the other seasons. I th just think I'll work on this one first. Um, Summer Splendor. They look like they're going to be quick stitches. So once I get through Mania, I'll probably get on to the next three. Ooh, this one looks really good. And I can't wait to do some 4th of July stuff. Uh, fireworks on the 4th by... Stone Street Stitchworks. I just love this one. Many times I've gone to look at their patterns and all of a sudden been like, oops, it ended up in my cart. 
All right, um, this is a really old Bent Creek. Um, be of good cheer, and I've actually kind of started this one, but I'm gonna include it in Mania anyway because I haven't gotten very far on it at all. I actually might be changing the fabric that I'm doing it on, so I might just scrap what I have in here. Um, I just, I don't know what I where I got this fabric from, but it's truly awful to stitch on, so it's gonna have to get redone anyway. Uh, Stone Street Stitchworks, Fervent Fall. Um, Country Cottage Needle, Country Cottage Needleworks, Every Heart. Uh, let's see. Country Cottage Needleworks, Home Sweet Home. I think I'm going to use the teal for this, actually. Or teal that I dyed. I don't know. Maybe I'll make just a brighter teal for that one. Oh, I'm excited about this one. Halloween House Trio. I just think they're so cool looking. Um, hands on Design, Hater Pumpkin. I just love how cute, again, little quilt motif in the middle is. I just think it's so cute. There's all of those. And then I have three more. I'm like balancing everything on my lap, trying not to knock you guys over. Sorry. There is the winter uh, seasons. What is it, Kate? That's in my That's So Kelly Co. Phoebe, what is it called? Uh, I can't remember. Anyway, I just love these. They're super cute. Um, I've got, this is like one of the very few schoolers I have but I just thought this was so cool I think I saw Priscilla do not maybe not this one but it was a different one or maybe it was this one I can't remember last year and I just thought it looked so cool and kind of modern but folksy anyway I think that'll be a good one to work on and last but not least 